Hey everyone, it's Phoebe here, and I have a great update to share with you for exporting files and all of that. So let's dive on in and have some fun while we learn. So some great updates we have for exporting is one, when you go to file export like OBJ, that's not safe. Really cared about that name. You now have this option over here for presets. And here you can decide like, hey, like if your company can set it up and then you can have and just use these as I have this one all set up and I can say, okay, this is my preset. And I know for if I export out a OBJ to Blender, these are the settings I should always use. Or if I'm going to export out an OBJ to, I don't know, Cinema 4D, then these are the like settings I should always use. So you can start setting up presets like this and then going through and just selecting them. How you can create those presets is you can hit this add button. And then you can save it and say like, okay, Blender, and then hit save. Just know when you hit this add button, however you set it up right here is what you're adding. So first you would want to make sure that you have everything, like how you want your settings to be set up, to be set up. So I might select this first and then just make sure all of this is checked. And maybe I want, default inches who knows and then i'm going to hit this add button and then i'm going to say blender and hit save just know it's going to save in my preset path so that is within clo if that's not where you want it to save then you can just open up this folder and you can choose the location you want this preset to be saved in and then i can just hit save and then I'll hit OK or I'll hit cancel now. And then I could go to file, export, OBJ. And now I'll have the blender option. You, of course, could select and then hit delete. And then that will delete that one. I could also go to here, hit delete, proceed. And you'll see now I don't have the options. I can also select this one, delete, hit proceed. Now you'll see I don't have any options and then I'll just have to start from here and add and then save this. Each preset will be different for different exports. So that was my OBJ. If I went into export, let's say FBX, I can then have different options. Right. And then I can save that out. So each like file type will have different presets for you to choose from on how you can export that. And then you can set all of those presets up so that it's really quick and easy and you can just use those all the time. So that's one really great way in which we've updated how we can export. We've also included a nice update for exporting out DXFs. So now I can go to file export DXF. Uh, standard. So I'm going to export out a standard DXF. To do that, I went to file export DXF. And here I have my DXF format. If I go to this drop down, I can then just select DXF. When I do select DXF, I can, of course, select if I want like graded nest or rule file or anything like that. Just know this is not the same as how you would save out other DXFs. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So here I'm going to say DXF and I'm going to hit, this is all good. I'm happy with all of this. Convert curve point to straight point. No. Um, yeah, I'm going to hit OK. So 
so you know there is grading here. I have added grading, all of that. Now I'm going to go to File, Export, DXF. And now I'm going to go to my AMA. Again, I'm going to do graded nest, inch, okay. I'm all good with this and I'm going to hit okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say new project. No. And I'm going to bring in both DXFs so that you can see the difference. So now I'm going to say okay, file import DXF. And let's first bring in my DXF AMA. I'm going to hit open. I'll have all of these options. I'm going to keep optimize all curve points so that it optimizes it. Um, I'm not going to remove any non-graded points. I'm not going to convert to seam allowance just because I personally always like seeing first what I'm going to get and then making edits after. That's just what I personally like doing the most. And now I'm going to hit okay. Now, also just want to call out, I'm doing unit inch because that's how I exported it. Now here is my AAMA DXF. You can see I have my graded points all right here. If I go into grading, I can see this. All my gradings there. I can see all my curve points. These curve points are not graded because I optimized it. And here everything is. Great. And just move this over here. This is AAMA. Now I'm going to go to File, Import Add, DXF. And now I'm going to add my standard DXF and hit Open. Again, not really going to do anything. Going to make sure this is Add. This is Inch because, again, that's how I exported it. And now I'm going to hit OK. And here with my standard DXF, what I happened is three separate patterns were saved. That's because these are all the different sizes. And if I select them, you'll see like the pattern name is a little bit the same, but like also different. So let me just select this one. <laughs> so this one here is just name five. This is five add 84 and then five add 85. So that is, I'm guessing like the sizing and all of that. But you can see this is like, I think this was the base size. This is the medium, this was large. But you'll see because I did say graded, it did export out all of the different sizing as their own DXF pattern and all of that. So now we have our standard DXF all exported out all of these are individual, but if I go to my grading tool, you'll see like these are not, this is not graded at all. I would have to add one, then I'll have to go in, select all of this, assign. And I might even have to go through and right click, convert to graded point. So I'll probably go through all of this here, right click, convert to graded point, select all of these right click sorry i selected too many patterns at once right click convert to grade point and then i'll have to do that for all of these the um all of these curve points then i'll have to go through i can of course do that fast workflow thing where i could just select this right click optimize okay but I'll go through and have that. So just so you know, the when you do do a standard DXF, when you then want to grade or anything like that, you might have to go through a little extra work, but also you will have actual the actual different graded patterns exported out for you. So then you can have each one individually if you want that too. And then this is just the regular DXF AAMA um, imported and exported and all of that.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to use that comment section down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There's tons of great videos to help you along in your clothes journey. And keep having fun in clothes. Thanks again.